Hey, the last time we had this car, we were in California, your home state, but this is a very different Audi A3. That's right. The one in California had a two liter engine. This one has a 1.8 liter engine and front wheel drive. It's the base model. So what makes this car worth buying and what makes it worth not buying? Coming up next, the top three makers and breakers. Number three breaker is style. Yes, it's elegant. Yes, it's stylish. Yes, it's an Audi, but it sort of looks like an Audi A4 from two generations ago. Come on, Audi, you can do better. You can make this look sharper than a baby A4. The number three maker in my book, keep this down because Roman hates it when I talk about it this way. This car, you can get nookie in it. Look, I know it's a little ridiculous, but think about it this way. You can afford this vehicle, right? You can get yourself an Audi entry level, and because of that, let's say you're in law school or whatever you're doing while you're driving this car, people are gonna notice you. The number two breaker is price at $34,000. That's a lot of money for an entry level Audi A3. Sure, it's got a $1,900 technology package with the satellite navigation, but nevertheless, you're getting into some pretty serious money. You can get a lot of cars at $34,000. The number two maker is, I love this little engine. The 1.8 liter is very, very zippy. And because it doesn't have the extra drag of the Quattro system, I think zero to 60, this will be just as quick. All right, Nathan, do you want to take it around the track or do you want to do a zero to 60? I want to uh -oh. do the track. I want to take uh -oh. it around. Uh, all right. Quarter, quarter? Well, let's. Oh yeah, yeah flip forward. Okay, heads. I take the track. You go zero to sixty. Tails the other way around. And it's uh, heads. heads. <laughs> take it zero to sixty. I don't mind. This is a fun car to drive. Okay, getting set up for a zero to 60 run on our racetrack. And Roman's coming to yell at me. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, no problem. I don't think he took his Geritol this morning. All right, reset. Okay, I've done it a few times before in this model, so I know that traction control off helps. And I'm, there's no paddle shifters. This is just front wheel drive. Automatic transmission. Here we go. Ugh. Okay, so here's the problem right off the bat. Hold on. Uh, we run out of room pretty quick here. 9.26. I was hoping for faster. I think I can get faster. 9.26, and here's the problem. What I did was I revved the engine um, torquing it with my foot on the brake, traction control, even though I have it shut off, still is there and it's retarding the engine power. So this time I'm just going to start flat and we'll see what we can do. Back up a little bit here. There we go. Okay. Is there a 60 run in Mark II? I love my job. Okay, here we go. So I'm starting flat. I'm just gonna hammer it. Turbo lag. It went up past 6,000 RPM redline. <laughs> yes! I knew it would do better. 7.78 seconds. Now think about that. We're a mile above sea level, so you do lose quite a bit of horsepower. And despite that, 7.78 seconds, for those of you who go, well, dude, my jet is faster. You know what, up here, maybe not. That's pretty damn good. That's, I like that. It's quick. Yeah, this car kicks ass, 7.78 seconds. What? Yeah, it's traction control off, Andre, that's what you do. That's how you do it. The 
The number one breaker isn't this gem of an engine. It's a turbocharged direct injected four cylinder that puts out 170 horsepower and 200 pound foot of torque. The problem is that it's mated to an automatic transmission only. No manual option in either this front wheel drive model or the all wheel drive Quattro. And that is a breaker in my book. My number one maker for this great little car is the fact that it's really fun to drive. Both the 1.8 front wheel drive model and the two liter Quattro are really exciting little cars. Look, they're not gonna set the road on fire, but they're Audis, they're real Audis. It's not a tarted up Volkswagen. Awesome bitchin' car to drive. I'm impressed. Nathan went 0 to 60 in 7.8 seconds. So I am going to give this car its due respect on the track because that means it should be fast. Now, of course, the question is how will a front wheel drive car do with a little bit of torque steer? Because that's always the issue with these cars. I'm going to put it in sport mode and uh, put the headrest just up a little bit. Okay. Away we go. He needs to be like one minute 15 seconds because that's how fast the Jetta went, and it would be kind of embarrassing if it didn't beat the Jetta. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of turbo lag there. Now, this is my first time around the track in this car. I always do it that way just because that's the way we've done all of these track hot laps. And I can tell you right now, it's nice and tight. And that engine is staying in its power band. I don't have paddle shifters, which is a shame, because this car could certainly use them. It's that lively. Coming around this turn, it's bringing a little bit of back end around, but not much. Oh, this engine is just a gem. Those brakes are really good, actually. Really, really good. Cut this corner. There we go. You know what? This is uh, exceptional. It's one of the best cars we've had out here so far. It's very neutral, and I can put it exactly where I want it. Which, of course, isn't what a race car driver would do, because, you know, this is an everyman approach to taking these cars around the track, but, wow, yeah, I'm impressed. Very neutral for a front-wheel drive car. Torque steer is almost non-existent. And here we go, last lap. Come on, car, come on your power. Oh boy, I don't know if he's going to do it. Here we go. Uh, straight away it's a little slow. There we go. He was faster. One minute, 15 seconds, point oh two. So quicker, but didn't break 115. You were faster. One. Basically. 1502. Not yeah. much faster. Not much faster. But a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Nathan, we've established that this 1.8 liter A3 is fast, fun, and expensive. And for that reason, I'm gonna say on the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, lease it. If you really want this car, buy the two liter. Yeah, I agree with that because I say lease it. And the reason why is because you can get for a lot less money, the Jetta GLI, which is a badass fun car. Plus it doesn't have a stick shift. I know this thing needs a manual desperately. As always, this is Roman and Nathan saying subscribe for a new car video every day and go to tflcar.com for news, views, and reviews. Ciao. This is where Nathan drives and Nathan is out there. Come on in, Nathan, have a seat with me back here. Come on in here. <laughs>
Alright. One foot in. <laughs> I, I feel beautiful. <laughs> Oh. Uh, granted, we're two big guys, but... <laughs> I'm 6'1", he's 6'3", with the hair. And you know what? I actually moved the seat up just about an inch because there's no way you were going to get your feet, your big size, whatever they are. 12 and 12. I have 13s, whatever. Yeah, it's a tight car. Okay, so it is tight, but if I, you know, children will fit back here just fine. The problem is, not so much my legs, but also headroom. So, yeah, this is best for kids. Just another way far? A little way far before, you're right. <laughs> it's not bad, it's not that bad. Yeah.